Hello and welcome to a t another tour of a Hawaiian shirt papa. This time it's the antiques on Lock Street. Well, the website says it's Lock Street Antiques. The sign has antiques and then it has the Lock Street address. Uh, yes, they had a nice collection of canes. Uh, this is part of the inside of the window display. A very lovely collection of antique and vintage furniture, mostly on the antique end of it. Whether they're chests of drawers, desks, dressing tables, um, accessories. Here's a, here you see a bunch of them. Plus there's a nice collection of artwork they've got uh, up on the wall and in various other places. Please do come with me to tour vicariously. And with that we continue. They also have some uh, old jewelry. Uh, probably on the better end of the scale. As you can see, some of these have got uh, jewelry cases. So you're going to get some very nice items. I think there may also be some other that are costume, but still uh, higher quality ends which would be having proper crystal in them instead of, of uh, precious stones or semi-precious stones. Some, some of the better items you'll find are in glass cases, especially the smaller pieces. So they've got from glassware to ceramics and porcelains and sets of di cutlery. And here's one coming up. We may see that in a bit. Some uh, serving trays. Uh, there's a bit of something for all budgets. Some uh, wall clocks. They have a few of those in there. They remind me of ones, uh, the old ones in very old schools. Some employment, some places of employment also use those kind of clocks. They do have uh, some vintage shoes, as you can see there briefly, and uh, cups and saucers. Here's one of the dressers with a mirror. And then they've got this interesting piece of artwork. I call it artwork just because it's framed and up on the wall. It may be some medallion or some commemorative otherwise. Nice collection. Very convenient if you're just coming into Hamilton is you get off the 403 at Main, Main Street, uh, second set of lights, turn right. This street has a few other stores, more on the vintage end. Uh, the street in the past did have a lot more um, antique shops on it, but they they seem to have moved out to Ottawa Street. So there's all of Zodman's as well as this store. So you do have a couple of places plus some other things and a lovely collection of uh, eateries, bistros, even a uh, food truck that specializes in seafood. That's not very common. If you're into collecting particular types of uh, porcelain or ceramics, as in plates, uh, you may, might look out here. Floor standing clock. 
wall mounted, that would be more of a vintage. This round plant stand uh, side table was quite interesting in my opinion. And there was some of the older artwork as you can see. Dead silverware or silver plate, I didn't make take a closer examination. They both look very much the same, but they are quite different in weight as well as value. Some nice chests, small ones. You don't always find small ones, you tend to find the larger ones. Those were possibly used for tea or some other slightly more valuable items. Yes, there was a thing about locking up your tea. Here's a set of silverware in its original case from the appearances. Some crystal in there. ourselves back towards the back of the store. We had actually been to the back of the store already, went back to the front, and here we are moving back. Originally we were looking at the at the, at the um, north side of the store, now we've done the south and we're now doing the more or less the center portion in between. A uh, lovely selection of uh, containers here. Some more salt and pepper, or some more oil and vinegar. There. Well, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, I'd appreciate if you give us a thumbs up, uh, maybe even a give us a uh, subscribe. And if you want to be notified of the next video, go to mark on the bell. Thanks a lot, folks. Bye bye.